Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little tiny eyeglasses with paper clips, and you don't even need any tools. So what we're going to do first is create our own little tool to help us bend the little ends of the paper clips because this wire is very, very stiff. So you're going to start by taking one of your larger paper clips and just open it up. A little bit. You just need that end to wind it around and then I'll take another paper clip and open it all the way open like that. Just all the way straighten it out. This is sort of the best technique to straighten it out. If you go slowly you'll get like a better bend to it and then what you want to do here is just you know, towards the middle, leave about an inch or two at that one end. So we want to wind it around a few times. So we're going to just wind it around maybe three, max four times. So we're going to go around one. And you're going to see after what we're actually going to do with this. So we're going to go around two. And we can go around a third time. Now this is a little tight, so you can always, once it's like beyond each side beyond each other just kind of pull them back towards each other and then that'll loosen it up so you can actually take it off of here and so we're going to put that at the side and then what we want to do to actually form the glasses is we're going to take the paper clip and open it all the way up so we're just going to open it go slowly to try to get it as straight as possible we're just going to go through here the advantage of not using tools with these colored paper clips is if you use tools, pliers and stuff, you're going to scratch the plastic. So this is fun to have a way that you can do it without the pliers. So once it's straight, you want to find the halfway point. So you could either get a ruler and measure it, or you can just bring it around and try to find the halfway point. So if we get these ends together, and then we want to figure out where halfway is. So it's about here. So then you're going to start making a bit of a sharper bend here in the halfway point. So we're just going to keep going till it looks like it's halfway. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. So we have like a little bit of a bend and then we need a round form. So I'm just going to use the end of a pen. I actually tried to wind it around a stick but the stick was too brittle and it broke. So if you have a pen or something round like that, it's going to be the best way to get a decent circle. So we're going to just work our way around here on one side, and then we'll go to the other side and do that. These, like I said, are very stiff, these um, paper clips, but they're, they're designed to be like that. So they actually hold the paper in place. So we're just going to go around here now. This is going to depend on the length of your paper clip. You might want to make these circles a little bit larger so you can put it further down on the pen. If you want the circles to be a little bit larger, you can just go sort of on the larger part of the pen like that. So we've got that one there and then this one too. If you want it larger, we'll have to use the smaller part for the a smaller paper clip but for the big paper clip it seems to be good to be like around the thicker part of the pen so we're just going to have them a bit like that okay so that's already it's looking like glasses which is really good and you can just even them out a little bit if you need these ends to be about the same so now what you want to do is we're going to just take this and push it back so we're just going to bend it back here. I'm not using pliers or anything. I'm just using kind of my fingernail. So we're just going to bend that back. So we have already that looks like little glasses, but now we're going to get our tool. So if you're using pliers, you could just bend the end, but this you can't really bend with your fingertip. You're going to hurt yourself. So we take our handy dandy tool and we just put it on the end. So we just stick it to the end. It goes like sort of like even it up with the end here. And then we're just going to bend it down. So boop. And it bends it. So that's cool. And then here, same thing. We're going to put it here. Go here right to the end. And you can put it any distance you want and just bend it at a bit of an angle. And there you have your super cute little 
glasses. So now we'll do the same thing with a small paper clip and we're just gonna open it up the same way. You're just gonna go like really, really slowly. And then we wanna bend it about halfway. The paper clip is about four inches, so you can just measure like two inches and bend it halfway. And then we're just gonna kind of bend it around and make sure these are like pretty even because you don't, especially if you don't have tools, you're not gonna be able to trim it. So just kind of make sure these ends are the same size. And then, you're going to need the smaller part of the pen to do the circle otherwise you're going to run out of wire so just bend it around and that smaller part of the pen you could even use a knitting needle or something really small to do these circles because it's um you really don't have a lot of wire to work with so we're just going to use the top of the pen here bring that around and then this side too so we're going to just bring it around just form it, wiggle it around a little bit, and then once you get sort of most of the circle done, then you can work it in a little bit like that. So just work it in, and then just compare both sides, see how they look. We're going to bring this one down a little more here, and then we want it to look sort of symmetrical on both sides as best you can. And then when you're happy with it, we're going to bend those ends back. So there's the glasses there. So just with your fingernail or like you can even use a knife or something to bend it against and just kind of bend it back like that. So we've got our two ends here and then just bend them in, you know, the angle that you want. And then I made a, a little tool with a little uh, paper clip and we're just going to stick it to the end and you don't need to be that far from the end, especially for the small paper clips. So just stick it in there as much as you need and then just bend it down. Okay, so we've got that super easy. And this one too, just bend it like kind of near the end, maybe not quite to the end of that and then bend it down. And that's a way that you can bend the ends without pliers. And there you have your little mini glasses. So we've got the small paper clip size and the large paper clip size. So for the metal paper clips, I'm going to use my tools this time and we'll start just by opening it up like this. This is a small size, but you can also use the large size. And basically what I'm going to do is get my flat pliers to help straighten it up. So we're just going to go like this, straighten the wire, bring it over here, straighten it up. So it's nice and straight. And then on the other side, same thing. You could do this by hand, but with the uh, pliers, it's a little bit easier. So once you have that, you can either measure it on the ruler. It's four inches, so it would be two inches. It's the halfway point. Or you can just kind of bend it in like we did previously. So we're going to go around like that. And it's the halfway point is going to be about there. And that's something you could kind of check as you go kind of wiggle back and forth and kind of adjust it as you need to and if you have your tools you can always clip it like if it's not quite right so I'm going to use the tools to bring this in a little bit there we go so they look about the same size and then to do the circles I'm going to use my round pliers so it's going to be much easier so we're going to bring that around bring it all the way around push it and then this one on this side bring it around and then you can also adjust the size so eyeball it see how it looks bring that around this one too and you can just adjust it as you go just play around with it I made some of these on the live stream before but they were just made with them um, with regular wire so if you're using regular wire you could use probably 20 or 18 gauge this one is just uh, looks like it's more like a 20 gauge but it's a very thick wire it's like a steel type wire so we're going to bring those like down that on an angle this one looks a little bit bigger but you know it's not not really a huge deal and then what you want to do is we're going to bend them back so we can just hold this you could either bend them to the back or you could bend them like to the front so another way if you have the flat pliers you can actually hold them 
like that and then bend it towards the other way if you like it just has a different look so for when we didn't have the tools it was easier just to bend it back but this way you can actually hold it so the two wires are together and then it kind of bends like the opposite way so those are super cute and then to do the curve that goes around the ear for sure you can use your pliers and you just kind of curve it out a little bit so that's much easier with the tools but either way it's doable so we're going to go like that and there you have your little wire glasses and that would be super cute for a little stuffed toy or a little dolly so now we could do the same thing with a large paper clip this uh, one is very stiff uh, definitely a harder wire to work with and uh, good to have the tools to uh, work with this the one the same thing you want to find halfway probably would be easier if we actually had a ruler because this one is super stiff but you can just kind of eyeball and because you have your tools you could probably just cut it if one side is too uh, long so let's just go ahead go like that yeah they're pretty good so we're just gonna do that yep that's pretty good like that and I already see like it's starting to crack a little bit the metal of the uh, paper clip but it's not too bad so now we're gonna get our tools again we're just gonna round that out a little bit and then round that one and because we probably need a slightly larger loop than what we have on the end of our pliers we're just gonna wind it around the pen so we're just going to go around here that's probably going to be a good size for it because our pliers just don't have a large enough circle on them unless you have some like bail making pliers or something which would work too so we're going to go around here so we have one side and then bring this one down and we have the other side so already they're looking super cute and then if you need to kind of straighten out these a little bit you can perfect like that and then to bend it back we can just uh, bend this the same way we did before like towards the front so we just got to have that to sort of bend over itself and then this one too hold it in the same position and bend that back here so those are super cute and if it gets distorted just go ahead and touch it up and then we need to round these edges so we're going to take that, round it down, and take that one and round it down. And there you have your larger glasses and your small glasses made with the metal paper clips. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, The Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook, where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you the next time.